wanted to mention a bit about. Oh no, I was just going to say some. Uh, you're talking about your sexual response. That some of the things that have that I've been dealing with is kind of a mixture of those issues. Dealing with a sense of shame about my own body, my own anatomy as a woman, that has really affected my ability to climax, as well as uh, anger feelings towards men, and not being similar to what I was saying about not wanting to feel completely vulnerable. So when I feel completely vulnerable, feel feeling quite threatened and that often shuts me down or has shut me down. Um, yeah, and not wanting that, that real man anger of not wanting to give and not wanting to even share in a climax together is probably the major thing. So some of them relate specifically to me as a woman and a lot of them, oh, some of them relate to men in general and they all affect agent. <laughs> and some of them relate to me specifically because of the anger about what happened, like how she, how would you, how would you call it, the, the anger that you have about me passing in the first century and your whole life being destroyed as a result. What happened before I passed is Mary gave her heart completely to me in the first century before I passed and she gave herself to me completely sexually as well before I passed. That also meant that from that moment on she couldn't give herself to another. And so I passed, she was in her 20s, and, uh, and now felt like her life was ruined in so many different ways. And the person she loved, she wasn't with, and so there was deep hurt in there. And that deep hurt she's still going through now towards myself. So, so what, what, I, what we're finding is that that definitely impacts upon our sexual relationship. The generalised stuff is more to do with fear. There's a lot of fear-based things about what men will, men will do to you and things like that, isn't there? Yeah. And shame. And sexual shame, yeah. So can you see how, like, really, again, it gets back with this sexual stuff. It gets back to each single person in the relationship focusing on themselves only when it comes to dealing with their emotion. Not pointing the figure at the other person. They did this, they did that, they did this. Remember that it is all your law of attraction. So therefore, there's something sexual going on inside of myself that attracted this. Look at that, let yourself feel that. And if you go into that really rapidly, your relationship can change so rapidly. Like we've had changes within hours of, of different things because of dealing with different emotions and allowing each of us, allowing the different emotions to be triggered.